Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know already, I'm GCN the PT and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the contents of this box. Now, just to put it into context and explain exactly what's going on, a couple of weeks ago, I contacted a company called Road Angel. Now, Road Angel specialize in lots of things, including dash cams, radar detection systems to pick up on speed cameras on the road and also reversing sensors. So, like I said, a couple of years ago, I actually lost my driving license. So those of you that have watched the channel for a while would have known that. I had a Megane uh, R26 or 225 Cup, if you like. And as a result, I spent six months off the road. Ever since, I've been super careful because as this car gets quicker, I need to be more aware on the road that I don't get myself into trouble. Now, that is exactly why I contacted them. And that's exactly why they have arranged for this box to turn up to my house. So what we're going to do is in today's video, we're going to install these products. I'm going to spend the next week to 10 days reviewing them myself on my own to give myself a good idea as to how effective they are. And then at the end of this video, we're going to show you just a really brief clip on how they work so that in the next couple of weeks, we can go and do some in-depth reviews on their products. As I promise you, they are worth it. I have seen these on other YouTubers' cars. I've seen them in friends' cars before. And I'd like to think that a week from now, 10 days from now, I wouldn't want to be driving without one. So if you want to be in a position where you no longer have to worry about speed cameras, you want to be in a position where you can be more reliant on your car being safe because your dash cam's watching your back, stay tuned. You will not be disappointed. GCN the PT, roll the intro, and we'll see you in the next clip. Peace. And let's see exactly what is in this little there. Uh, but we're gonna go run down the products one by one and show you exactly what they are. So from what I can tell, this is the Road Angel Pure's actual windscreen um, mount, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Looks like the kind of thing that would be magnetic. We'll obviously jump into that in a second. We'll have a look. Put that down there for a second. We have oh, a Road Angel Pure, which is the radar detector itself. Now, as you can see on the screen, it's flashing up with a speed limit. Now, this will actually beep in the car as well when you come up to an area that's got a speed camera. So obviously it gives you full warning, which is fantastic. This is one of the top of the range products they offer. They've got a few different ones. Obviously, you can go check them out on the website, link in description. And we have a few interesting things. This, to me, looks like a five volt hard wiring kit for Road Angel. I can only assume that's for the Road Angel Pure, do you reckon? Yeah. What do you think? No, Obviously, we can find out in due course. What else do we have in here? That's another hard wiring kit. Hmm, interesting. We've got two of those. What else do we have? Right, so th I know that this is the hard wiring kit for the, the Halo Pro. Now, the Halo Pro, to those of you that don't know, is a, oh, that's fallen out now. It's a front and rear dash cam setup. And this obviously will be super useful in the car because when I park up outside of work, for example, if someone were to bump into my car, it's gonna be picking up on that and saving the video footage. And obviously if I'm out on the road as well, getting up to mischief as you do, then uh, we'll have uh, evidence of people being mad people <laughs> or mad drivers, so to speak. So that's gonna be useful. So obviously we'll have a look at that in a second as well. What else do we have in here? Aside to loads of air freshness, that looks like the manual for the Halo Pro, so that's okay too. And yeah, in the bottom of the box, we've just got loads and loads of air freshers, which I'm most likely gonna use for a giveaway. So obviously stay tuned for upcoming footage and we'll look into that. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that on Instagram or whether that's gonna be a, you know, for example, like, like their page and tag your mates and I'll send you some free air freshers or something. But either way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look around these products. I'm gonna talk around the tech specs and then we're gonna look at getting them fitted to my 2006 Mark II Focus ST that's parked right outside. So stay tuned, we'll join you in the next clip. Thank you for watching, peace. Right, so Shane's just having a nosy at the Halo Pro. Now, like I said earlier, the Halo Pro is a front and rear dash cam setup. So obviously, as you can see here, this looks like the front, I can imagine. Oh, it's completely weird. adjustable as to which angle you'd like. It sticks on the windscreen like so, and then obviously you hardwire it into the car, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. This is the reverse camera. Obviously, to those of you that didn't gather, it goes in the back of the car, <laughs> <laughs> just in case people rear end you, or obviously doing the same when you're uh, parked up at work, for example, so that's pretty awesome. What do we have there? That looks like the uh, yeah. power cable. And then a cigarette light. It looks really long, which is useful, obviously, so we can uh, hide it within the trim of the car and make it all tidy. And, and the hardwiring it, so you won't need that. Yeah, anymore. exactly. So, hardwiring kits, we're actually not going to need that power cable. 
That looks like another sticky pad. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, we've got the front and rear dash cam set up, which is great. Um, I will include a little tag in the video now so you can see how much they cost. I can't remember to be precise, but I'll put, chuck that in the video just above so you'll see. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple of other bits. It looks like it comes with a, a wiring kit within the box itself. So it looks like you don't actually need the hard wiring kit. But the hard wiring kit, we've obviously got two options here. Both the one there that is available, as you can see. It does say on it that it's the five volt hard wiring kit and it enables you to permanently connect a compatible Red Angel product to your vehicle. All right, so that's gonna be super useful. One thing I didn't mention earlier, we do actually have a screen protector for the Road Angel Pure, so that's gonna be awesome. Either way, that's gonna be quite useful, obviously, to protect against sort of like uh, fingerprints and whatnot. So that's gonna be great. Magnetic windscreen mount's gonna be pretty useful. Um, as far as I'm aware, this does actually come with a wireless charger, sort of like a magnet wireless charging type deal which you obviously stick to your dashboard. So that's gonna be fantastic. Right, guys, what we thought would be the best thing to do first would be to wire up the long wire that goes from the back for the rear dash cam all the way through to the front where obviously Shane's gonna ground it later. So obviously this being the front, the long wire actually attaches into the back of that. So if Shane just walks us round, mm. what we'll do, just in the back here, obviously we need to ground it in the side of the door panel. So what we've been doing just off camera is we've slipped this off here and we've actually fed it through the loom. Now, obviously, we fed it through. We've got some long nose pliers and we just pulled this through. So that way, we're able to wire up the camera. And when the, the boot closes, it's not going to be snagging any wires. It's not going to be pulling anything loose, not going to be causing any problems. We want to show you guys how to do this properly. Obviously, it's going to apply to any car that you guys are working on. But seeing as the majority of my viewers are Ford fans, I felt that it was reputable just to, to get it done properly with you know the kind of equipment they'll be working with. But like I said, this applies to any car. So we're going to stick the rear dash cam up here. And like I said, the wire's gone through here, through the loom, and then we can wire that through the car and we're going to ground it down there. So that's definitely the first thing you should be doing. What do they say? Piss poor preparation equals piss poor performance. Yeah, so we're making sure that we prepare properly so we don't have to do this again, all right? Stay tuned and we'll show you the rest of the, the install. Now to ensure this is stored in an area that you're actually going to get full visibility, obviously take into consideration that a lot of people do have their rear hood actually completely smoked out. Mine does have view. I mean, you can see through it, but it's not the best. So what I've done is I've made sure that through the center of the screw, down the center of the car, it's perfectly centralized. Obviously this will rotate, so you can choose the angle that you wish to have. And we're going to go about wiring this now and we'll walk you through the process. All right, so stay tuned. So what we're up to now is along the side of the door and the trim, we're actually feeding the wire and hiding it. That way it looks super flush and it will feed itself through the frame of the car and keep it looking neat. It's an easy job, it might look confusing, but it just involves peeling back a little bit of plastic and hiding the wire. Right guys, so just off camera, what we've been doing I mentioned earlier that we were feeding the wire through the loom. So we've actually put the connection where that wire connects to the wire that's gone through here. We've hidden it inside the actual casing of the car. That way it's completely safe. I mentioned in the last clip that I detached this as well. So that's also done. So like I said, it's gone through here, through there. We've fed it through this. And then the gentleman in there, as you can see, he's been feeding it through the car. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna choose the location where this front dash cam goes. I'm sure many of you know about dash cams, don't get me wrong, they've been out for a while, but that's besides the point. These ones are fantastic quality. So what I'm gonna do, peel off the 3M tape, and then we're gonna stick this where I want it to go. So, I'm thinking, I know that that, yeah, that does move, so that's okay. Shane, what do you reckon? I'm thinking, there. Push that, keep it nice and secure against the window. That's not coming off. Right, front dash cam is in place. The wire itself has been fed through, that, fed through there. Obviously that can then attach into the back of the dash cam and the rest of the wire can be hidden underneath the trim. So we're making waves, getting this thing sorted. But guys, in the meantime, we've been making sure the wires are all neatly hidden away. We've been finding the correct fuses as well to piggyback off of. That way that we don't actually have to have loose cables hanging around and then it's all wired into the car, turns off when the car turns off and so on. Now you'll probably find with dash cams that they'll stay alive even when the car is turned off. 
they'll um, quietly run off the battery and that way they'll be able to locate if anything goes wrong with the car when you're not in it. But like I said, we're going to get all of this done. We didn't want to bore you with that as it's, um, I wouldn't say it's so much as technical, but it's just stuff that you don't really want to be seeing. Anything important that we do come up with, we will show you. But in the meantime, we're going to get this done and we'll come back to you shortly. Right, currently trying to work out how to work this properly so that the light comes on on the back of the camera. So again, with that one. Trying many different options, guys. They do have hard wiring kits available, so obviously if you want one of those, make sure you pick one up too. That'll be included with your 15% off. That makes sense, doesn't it? It doesn't make the whole thing make sense. Guys, what we're in the process of doing now is removing the cables that we don't need. So I previously had a really bad dash cam in there. So I've taken out the wire, got rid of that, and we've managed to wire up the dash cam that is sat nicely on the windscreen at the moment. Now the kind gentleman that sat in front of me, he is the guy that basically uh, neatly put the cable for the Road Angel Pure just nicely in there. So he's just putting the car back together. Now, although the ignition is off, this rear dash cam is now working so obviously i can give you my full review of that in due course so that's all done so i can put that one down actually tell a lie I need to hang these little pieces up there we go one more on this side get that one in that's that done shane's just tidying up the cables tidying up the cables in the uh the footwell down there and locking them away with some zip ties and whatnot so that's great once this is done then we can show you everything working and we can get that road angel set up and show you what it's made of now one thing we will admit with the dash cam that's up there because there's no memory card at the moment the dash cam isn't going to come to life to its full potential it's going to scream at you in a voice telling you to get yourself a memory card so yeah we've already witnessed that so we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a second all right guys, finally we now have the Road Angel all wired up. Like I said, cable looped through. The earthing point's just around there, so I'll show you that in a second. What we did, because, now this is no disrespect to Road Angel themselves, but the 3M little sticky pads you get on the Ford Focuses, they are so shiny that nothing will stick to it. So we've got some double-sided Velcro, will hold up to 10 kilos. Stuck that on, so that's not going anywhere. That might look a little bit loose, but because it's a wireless charger, it comes off and sort of sticks back on like so. So either way, that's all wired up. As you can see, I've gone onto the App Store. I've downloaded Road Angel Halo, which is for the Halo, Halo cameras, and the Road Angel Pure, which is for the Pure device right down there. Now you can see that it's been earthed just, <coughs> just in here. So we've left that open just to show you left the side trim off as well obviously but either way obviously I'm in a predicament now where I need to get all of this set up I haven't got a memory card for this so I do need to go ahead and do that so I might pop to a shop and get that done and get that all activated but what I'm going to do is I'm most likely going to review all of this in the next video now I know that might be a killjoy to yourself but I wanted to show you guys how to install everything it is relatively simple I know to to those beginners wiring might be a little bit difficult but piggybacking off another fuse is something you can do on youtube too if you want to go check up on how to do that it literally is super super simple just make sure that it's earthed as well all right so we're going to get these done we're going to have a look and we're going to go and uh, test them myself and see what they see what they're like guys finally we've got everything wired in i'm super chuffed the halo pro is up here we've obviously got one at the back that you can see at the back of the clip just there now obviously this is connected through like a wireless charger uh I don't know if it's wireless, to be fair. It's, it's more of like a, a magnetic mount this clips on. You don't need to plug anything into this. Obviously, it does have a micro SD slot on the back so that you can do updates and whatnot, plug it into your computer directly. So that's obviously fantastic. Now, everything is wired in, but there's a couple things that I need to do in order to get it ready for actual road use. Now, I need to go and get myself a micro SD card. I'm going to go with a 64 gig. I can pick one up in Tesco's. Just make sure that you get a decent one. Um, I don't know if you uh, know a huge amount about the micro SD cards, but there is a little number to identify a couple of things written on the card itself. If you can, 
get a 10, all right? So I'm gonna go and get myself a 64 gig micro SD card for the Halo Pro so that that memory will also back up for this one too. They obviously work together. And then obviously within the phone app yourself, you can then change the settings to the extent that it can actually uh, look out for the car while you're not in it. Now, I know I mentioned that earlier, but that's the feature that I mainly wanted so that if someone were to try and cause harm to my car, my camera would pick it up, all right? So that's fantastic. Now, I just wanted to speak to you in this particular instance because I've been very lucky to be sent out these parts and they did send me a couple of hard wiring kits as well. Obviously, car specific, you're gonna find that you're gonna need different ones, so make sure you do your research. These road angel devices will put you in a position where you are aware of speed limits it'll put you in a position where you're more comfortable when it comes to cameras i don't know about you i've gone on long trips you know for example to london and back or to pick up the girlfriend or going to film with other youtubers and stuff and i've come back and i've almost had an anxiety attack just thinking i was driving fast do you reckon i got caught oh my god i hope i'm okay and for the next sort of like two weeks i check my post box hoping that i haven't got any speeding tickets through the post so obviously this will put you in a position where not only can it reduce your stress but you can feel more aware and more you know just more intact as to what's actually nearby i think it's great personally obviously you have to pay a subscription for it you can obviously choose different levels of subscription i'm pretty sure they do um you know things like bronze silver and gold and whatnot obviously that's entirely down to you which you have but obviously, I can imagine the more you pay, the better subscription you get, the more updates you're going to get, the better locations for maps and whatnot. So this is why I got in touch with Road Angel. I believe that they were the best in the game. I did look up other companies and they just didn't just didn't do it for me. I watched a young gentleman review one and I just thought, you know what? That is really, really cool. So I slid into their DMs and here we are. So what I'm going to do, like I mentioned, I'm going to go and get myself a memory card. And then I'll be in a position where I can actually uh, run through the settings and get these all linked up, all right? Excuse me. Very rude. I downed a white monster earlier. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to go and get all these set up and we will run through the process with you guys exactly how to do that yourself. All right, so stay tuned. Right, guys, now the Road Angel is actually uh, set up in the sense that it's all been wired in and it's now in a position where it can charge when the ignition's on. I felt it more essential to go and get a micro SD for the Halo. Now, the dash cam will not work without a memory card, so I'm going to go and get that done. I can go and get these set up within my phone app and I'll walk you through the process. Now, I am going to actually have to leave Shane's house to do that, but I'm going to go on my travels. I'm going to go and get myself a micro SD card so I can get all of this working. Now, like I said, this is just a little quick release magnetic charger if you like so that's absolutely fantastic the halo looks absolutely great like i mentioned before you can angle the camera now they do actually record at 2k if i'm not um if i'm not wrong so that's pretty cool i've had to unplug this cable currently because it will shout at me if i haven't got a memory card so i've left this as uh, the lady will get quite annoying <laughs> similar to siri she'll just tell me off so anyway i've done that like i said i've shown you where it's been uh, wired in down there super simple just to wire it through obviously you can do it through there as well it's entirely up to you right, guys this is the third take i will be honest they keep making me laugh because the lady that's over there keeps playing funny buggers but that's fine so let's just walk around the car really quickly because i just told the viewers that we'd go around and show them from start to finish just what we did do so obviously we started off at the back didn't we yeah you first found the place where you wanted the camera to go didn't you yeah we obviously wanted the rear dash cam there so we started off by taking off the plastic trim and we found a way to feed the wire through the loom. That way it was all hidden and it wouldn't sort of crease up against anything when we shut the boot. We don't want to be snagging any wires, causing any electrical fire. So it was just more sensible for us to do that properly. Obviously these guys very kindly helped out with that. And uh, thanks to them, we've managed to get that in nice and snug. Now from there, where did we go next? Where did we go next? We went down. This is your department. Table down through then here, yeah, yeah, and all the way up through there. Nice one. Okay, so that then came around there, and then you had to find yourself an earthing point, didn't you? Yeah, earthing points. One is located there. Yep. Yeah. And the other one is located there. Okay, so which one was the best one? Did you have a preference, or were they both okay? They're both okay. Fantastic. Yep. Yeah. So obviously you've managed to hide the cables away. Obviously yeah, we've kept that off through. for the time being. And then you looped up the rest of the cable going up through there, through there over to this where one. The, the halo at the top is placed at the moment. Yeah. Um, like I said, guys, it is unplugged currently purely because the memory card's not in there. I didn't want the lady shouting at me the whole way home. 
So um, obviously from there, is there anything in particular you'd offer just as advice to these guys? Take your time, innit? Take your time, innit? Yeah, just take your time. Don't try not to break the trims, yeah. taking them off. And just don't break the trims coming off. Obviously just do it carefully, really. Carefully. So I think that, that's the importance, just making no, sure patience. it's done properly. Just don't rush it here. Putting the car back together, there we go. All right guys, like I said, thank you very much for paying attention. If you got this far on the video, then thank you. Like the video if you haven't already, and we're gonna jump cut now into getting the memory card and inserting it into the halo, but that'll most likely be at my house. So, I'm gonna really quickly wash the car. I'll give you a couple seconds of that. Don't wanna bore you, but I'll uh, chuck some sexy cinematics of us washing the car, and uh, we'll go from there, all right? So thank you very much. We'll uh, jump cut now into the car getting clean for once and we'll uh, join you when we put the memory card in. Peace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a bit excited, aren't I? <laughs> Right, car's nice and clean. Absolutely stunning. It's literally just drip drying. So since we've cleaned the car, Shane has very kindly stuck the number plate onto the side using Velcro. It looks a lot nicer than it was before. I'll try and give you guys a little bit of a, an angle from here. I think it looks better. Shane's just around the back now, assessing the damage because we want to try and Velcro the exclusive registrations plate on the back too. What do you make of it? Someone's drilled into it in the yeah, past. Zone, it, Such a shame. Yo guys, so not only have we now managed to pick up a micro SD so we can now power that halo, but Corley has joined us. I figured that seeing as this video is just the install video, to give you a slight inkling of just how this works, I'm gonna get him with an unbiased opinion to drive my car from here to the gym where there are three cameras, an averaging camera, a speed camera and a red light camera. We're gonna see if this picks it up. If it does, that's gonna give you reason to go and check out the video that I upload in a week or two with a full in-depth review of the Road Angel Pure. So let's get in the car, let's make it happen and test exactly how it works. You keen? Yeah. Right, there is a first for everything. And Corley, Oh my god, the state of these seats. Corley has not had a go yet in the car since we went full hard race engine mount. So I present you with the car keys. Now that just goes on the front up there, so if you just put it up there nicely, it'll literally just clip on. B. See, so what it does now is it searches for GPS just to get your location. Oh, and then we're all set. Oh, it's absolutely chilly in here, it's so cold. Right guys, we'll get the car turned on and uh, we'll jump cut to when we're on the road, right? Oh, <laughs> guys, now the memory card's installed. It's working. I've pulled it up on the app just here. 
don't want to give too much away. It's pretty cool you can watch this. Honestly, it tracks your location, it maps out everywhere you've been. But anyway, that's besides the point. That's in another video. Um, Corley's just taking a toke, haven't you? Sorry, awkward yeah. time. Either way, we've got this Road Angel here. It's all working. There's a couple cameras on the way to the gym. So we're going to take you past them and we're going to show you just exactly what the Road Angel does when you're nearby. Right, so we're just heading down the embankment now. Just over here is a speed camera. Let's just see exactly what the Road Angel Pure does. So not only is it giving you these warning signs, but the screen will really, really subtly just flash red when you're slightly over the speed limit. Right. I think that's awesome, because there are times when you're slightly tired, maybe you're not really with it, you're concentrating on something else, and it's very easy to go through a school zone, a pedestrian zone, just somewhere, and it's having something like this that is able to not only keep you on the ball, but be informative in a professional way. Let's see what it does now. The camera's just coming up here. Tells you the speed limit that we're going into, tells you the type of camera, fixed safety camera, and that you're within the speed limit. Honestly, that on its own, to me, warrants me having one in my car. Yeah. But it's when you get to the red light camera that's down here that it starts to warn you of things that you just weren't aware of. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's awesome. Right, it should come up with a red light camera just up here. Honestly, how cool is that? Oh my gosh. Either way, guys, I can't wait to do a full review on this product. You can see how cool it is on its own. Corley 10 left just here. It's been an interesting install video. We've got the memory card sorted as well. We've got lots of bits to be doing, lots of stuff to be filming, so stay tuned for the ride. Corley, stop. Like the video if you haven't already. Let me know exactly what you think of these products in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Corley, you want to say goodbye? Adiós, amigos, estás.